Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Thank you for staying with us. I mean, well, like, not like you went anywhere. I mean, the video is going to be uploaded, you know what I'm saying? But I digress. Yeah, Marshall Mind. Brother. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm so interested in fighting this guy. I may because I want to prove that, you know, he ain't as good as he think he is. Alright, well, although it's just a game, yeah, bruv. If you're a YouTuber, yeah, and you're posting videos about you playing this shit for a living, yeah, put it out there, boy. Accept some challenges, boy. That's all I ask. Just accept the damn challenge, man. For fuck's sake. Well, no, nonetheless, let's get down to it. MMA Reloaded right here, spitting at Relist, but right here now we got part two of our Ranked Championship series. We posted part one with me knocking the fuck out of some guy with my Brazilian buddy Fabrizio Verdun via Capallo. Up next, that's me right there, Mr. Showtime. I've only lost one fight with Showtime. No lie, only lost one fight with Showtime online. Yeah? Against Conor McGregor. Now, when people be Conor McGregor, yeah, I want to laugh, yeah? Because either they're really shit with it, either, really, either they're really shit in the game, yeah, and want to be someone good to make them look good, or they're really good in the game, and they know how to use Conor McGregor, and I'm going to get my ass kicked in one round. So let's see how this one went down. Here. First of all, about that guy don't press X. Because he's tipped. There you go. Alright. I remember how off these fights have come. I just play, bro. Let's do this, man. See ya. Uh, he just goes right after. So he's good. Yeah. I tried a front kick, man. What's wrong with you? I tried the front kick. I got bloody asshole a couple of times with that bloody capoeira kick to the body. Now he's trying to overhand. He's trying to overhand me, but well, he's kind of dumb because how are you going to reach me from there? I got a bit anxious, so I went in for the flying knee. Caught it on there with a couple of shots. This one was interesting, man. Oh, bang that switch kick, boy. What are you gonna do with that, boy? Oh, very nice. All right, I, I, I remember this fight, actually. This one was as competitive as hell, man. It was full of highlight reels. That's why I saved it, man. It was a highlight reel fight, man. I knew this one would get some, some views here for the addition, man. So with this here, because he was, he was being wild here with his kicks. Yeah, I knew I had to time it like I always do, but I did, I couldn't because like sometimes people get under my skin if I'm behind in a fight. Yeah, I know I'm gonna lose, so I need to do something, man. And there you see it, bro, right there, man. This guy was on my ass, bang up, bang up. See that, bro? Shit, boom! I caught him. See when you're rock, just keep throwing, just keep throwing, man. If you got stamina. Just keep throwing him. You see that now I'm coming back. See how I come back? That one hand stand kick and then the front kick straight away. Oh shit. He's kneeing the shit out of me right there, man. Bang up again. Oh, fuck. See, I tried that one hand stand again there because he was low on energy. Showtime kick, showtime punch miss, I end up going for a combination and land a few shots there. I'm trying to fly knee here, because he's hurt. I felt like if I landed a fly knee, I'd be in control. So I can land some combos. Remember, I've only lost to Lantern Pets once online. Bang up, bro. Jesus Christ. That's that Capoeira kick right there. That's that Capoeira kick right there. I knew if I landed a big shot, I would have fucking got back into the game, man. A one hand stand again, my couple error was on point. See, this time I didn't want to get wild because my stamina was getting low already. So I was trying to bang it. You know what I'm saying? You kind of just backed him away into the cage. There we go, man. As soon as he comes back in. See that? See that? 
won that end of the run. The end of the run, yeah, and towards like the last like couple of minutes, I had his ass. I had his ass in the bag. You know, like one of those poop bags, yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. I don't know what's wrong with me, bro. Let's get back to it. Oh, yeah, and, for, and uh, another thing, yeah. Fuck the fight for one sec, yeah. Another thing. Bro, Todd Grisham, get the fuck! Of UFC commentary, man. What the fuck are you ever doing on UFC commentary, bro? You're a pro wrestling commentator. You can't do that, man. What do you know about MMA? <laughs> what do you know about MMA, man? Just as about as much as fucking uh, Floyd Mayweather knows about professional wrestling, bro. I might know a lot, but I digress, bro. You're you're fucked, man. That ain't your profession, mate. You keep presenting inside MMA on ESPN and that'll be it. Oh, God. In a clinch, yeah. Anthony Pettis ain't that good in the clinch. His transitions aren't fast there yeah, in the clinch. So I was getting my ass kicked basically in the clinch, yeah. Shit. Those knees are fucking... I kind of ran out of fucking steam. I ran out of steam. Right there, I was out. Ran out of steam right there. Fuck. Well, you know, what can I say, man? The clinch here is where he got me, man. He was getting me with that clinch all throughout that fight. So, you know, man, you can't win all of them. You can't win it all the time, man. You can't win it all the time.